Exodus chapter 3, verse 12. So he said, I will certainly be with you, and this shall be a sign to you that I have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God on this mountain. This was God's response to Moses. Moses had uh, expressed inadequacy, uh, going to face Pharaoh and going to face the Hebrews who had rejected him. And, and God just said to him, certainly I will be with you. Uh, there is nothing more comforting and assuring as those words coming from the creator of the universe. Uh, Pharaoh and the royal house of Egypt were against Moses, but God was with him. The Hebrew slaves did not want Moses as their leader, but God was with him. And it's almost as if God patted the back of Moses and said, relax, relax. I'm here. I'm with you. God is saying, yes, I know all the things that are bothering you, all the things that are bothering your mind, the things you are afraid of, the people you are afraid of, your own insecurities, but I'm with you. And when God is with you, it's more than anything else that is against us. And that's what God said to Moses. Now, after God had assured Moses that he was going to be with him, then he gave him a sign. The sign was something physical that will happen in the future with Moses. And it's interesting that the sign uh, that God gave to Moses didn't seem to respond to his fears. Remember, he's afraid of going to face Pharaoh. He's afraid of going back to uh, the Hebrews because they rejected him. And God gave him a sign. And the sign was that uh, you would come and worship at this mountain. This is the sign I'm giving to you. And the sign is you will deliver the people and bring them to this mountain. How does that correspond to I'm afraid of Pharaoh and I, I, I don't think the Hebrews will accept me? There, there are two implications there. The first one is that God says you will deliver the people from the hand of Pharaoh. That means that there's going to be a confrontation between you and Pharaoh and his system, but you're going to win. How do I know I'm going to win? Because you deliver the people. So God indirectly is saying to Moses, don't be afraid. You're going to win this one. You're going to deliver the people and, and you're going to bring them out from captivity. So the, the fear you have will be taken care of because of the victory God is going to give to you. So the second thing God says to him is that when you take them out from Egypt, you're going to bring them to this mountain, the same mountain where he saw the burning bush. You're going to bring them to this mountain and you're going to worship here. How does that correspond? How does that answer to Moses' fear that the people will not understand him? Well, if he would deliver the people and the people will follow him and bring him to the place where he met God, it means that people would accept him as their leader. So God is saying to Moses, it's going to be all right. But the way he tells Moses it's going to be all right is not to tell him directly how the process is going to be, but he tells him how the end is going to look like. In the end, you're going to deliver them from the hand of Pharaoh. That means you will deal with Pharaoh. And in the end, you'll bring the people to this mountain. The people will follow you. The people will respond to you. God has a way of of telling us his will that doesn't always seem to correspond to what we want. We want him to say, oh, I'll fight your enemies and, and I'll do this. And we want him to give us a direct word. But he tells us the end. He tells us how things are going to end. Uh, and, and just by believing how things are going to end, he takes care of the process. So I don't know what you're going through now, but God has fixed the end for you. And the end is going to be good for you. And you trust him. He will be with you. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you know the end from the beginning. I trust you to bring me out of every battle with triumph. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God is with you and he will give you the victory. I am Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.